Hey everybody, so we're with my 2016 Ford F-150 XL 4x4 and I have LED light here from Oxito. LED light as you see, which on this truck is a H11, so H8, H9, H11. And this is for the low beam, which we're going to be changing out. So what it looks like so far is you need a 10 millimeter socket which I have right here, as you can see, it says 10 mil, and we'll put it on reverse, and we'll be pulling these out. Just like that, it makes it fast. When I put it in, I'll go slow, and then I'll just do it by hand with a wrench. But I like to remove stuff like that. It just makes it a little bit faster, especially when it is cold out here. We have snow on the ground. I've never done one of these, so I'm not 100% sure how this comes out. Ooh, it looks like this black trim piece needs to come up, which looks like right here is a tab, and then it comes around one piece, and it looks like a couple, maybe eight or seven mil. I'll have to check that out, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so you remove the one of these body style tabs make sure you use something like this so that way you don't break these versus using a screwdriver then you remove the two bolts that were back here that i showed you those are seven millimeters so you know and then you can see these are just push tabs on this lower piece and you come around it's like some body there there you go and you can see up here it's going over that plastic that's why you have to remove this so you set that to the side and then you say okay how do i get in here even more oh no it looks like down here is one i don't know do i really have to remove this whole plastic piece i'm gonna have another look and there's really no easy way to get behind here for the bulb. There is for this bulb, which is that guy indicator, but not for the headlights, which would be back into that section. Oh boy. So not that easy, like some vehicles, like the, our old Volvo, you just be able to pull a couple quick pins and the whole unit just came out. Not this. Well, I guess that is built like a truck. Okay, I had to undo the body panel here, here. In there that flexes that out I had to take off this lower piece which is that which kind of clips in down there and the screws there and a body panel one into there which was a pain in the butt to get it right there and then there's a pin you just pull the headlight and it pops out Wow, that takes a lot to get to the headlights on these. That's a pain in the ass. But, okay, we're there. Let's uh, see what happens now. So here I have it fully pulled out. This is what the back looks like. You got your various lights. You got the spot back there where the pin was shoved into. I kind of have this rusting like this on the body panel in here. So then I can get to the lights. Um, I'm gonna just look at them both because I'm not sure which one's the H11. I actually think it's this one. So I will start there, is that it? No, that's not, that's a blinker. I don't know what's under this cover. But kind of pull, okay, here it is. I put the, is that the low beam? I'm not quite sure on this car which one's the low beam. But that's going to be the H11. So is it that one? Or is it that one? As I was going to open this box and I took the saran wrap off, I was like, I probably should film this because you probably want to know. So this is how it comes. It looks like you get some gloves to put on so you don't touch the bulb. Some zip ties. An Allen if you need it. Maybe some cars you need that. Mine so far... If that's the correct one on this lower one, it's just OK, 
Okay, there's a little fan built on. There's the LED. There's the little parts that stick out so that goes in and twist. I'm going to have to take a look and see how this all goes together because I don't know. And that's why I do these videos because this is going to save you time. It's not that one because not big enough base there to go in there and twist around. It's this one. There's the connector and that's the connector there. So that's quite easy. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and now hook it up. It has that unit. I guess I would just kind of shove that into there and I should be good, I guess. Yeah. And the seal on the other bulb is different. It's like an O-ring and it goes into that white area. So it's totally different. You can't really mess this up. Once you have a look, and now that you've seen my video, you know it's the upper one is the driving light. And here you go. I got this one back in. You know, it only goes in one way. Just match up and twist it. And there we have it. This one is in. And again, you match up the, the slots and then turn it. And it's in. The cord's going to face that way, apparently. And I will tuck this in there. But because... This vehicle is so complex as far as getting it out. Unlike some vehicles, you're going to want to test it right before you put all this back together. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And as you can see, I started the vehicle and there it is. The LED, so it's shining pretty white. I'll have to see how it works and bring you that update for nighttime driving. But... Okay, that one works, so I'll go ahead and button this up by reversing all my steps. Well, these, this is why I like these type of videos, because whether it works or doesn't work, it's not up to, it's not the manufacturer here because, you know, it's a bulb. They make it for various models. I'll have to go back to them and see if they actually make a H11 that does not have a fan like that. Because on the F-150 here, see how close it is in there? I got this rubber seal. I can't get this on. I thought, well, maybe if I put this on first and push against it, but that's a thick seal and it won't, it's not going to give any. I'm going to try one more time, but yeah, and see how far up. So if it was actually the, I'm guessing this is the high beam because right here it says H11, this light would work because it's recessed in there more, but this is a totally different bulb than what this one edge is. This, and this says Sylvania, let's try to get you close, HB3U9005. So if they make a bulb for that, that would work. But the driving light, unless there's one without a fan or doesn't stick up as high or something, it's just how far, I mean, I get you might be able to leave that off and the light is still technically sealed and this on the bottom part, part would be on like that. You know, you can kind of push it down in there except for that one area and you could probably cut around that one spot, but I don't really want to ruin this. I don't know how easy it is to get new ones of these. So, yeah, we'll see what I do here. I'm going to make a judgment call here soon. So here's my thought process on this. This is the what is sealed with the bulbs in it. This outer housing is just around the back side of the headlight. I don't know how... Is, just, is this just an extra precaution for being sealed? I mean, what exactly? I mean... You know, light bulbs, bulbs used to just be like this, not a big deal. Plus, this would provide more air for this fan. If I cram this on, even if it's just barely on, it would keep some stuff out, but then it's not really getting air circulation now, is it? So, what do you think? If I just leave that one off, it might get a little dusty back here, but I don't think that's going to affect the actual bulb itself because that is all sealed and it's back behind here and the upper one is like really back into there so unless I totally lose my my fender wall uh, I mean 
yes there's some dirt splatter on that one but this one was pretty clean to begin with being up higher so i'm not thinking other than maybe light dust that there would be an issue it wouldn't be a water issue i'm never going to have water that high so i don't know what what should i do i'm thinking about just running it like that so i can at least test the led and you all let me know if that's a good idea or not i can always take it apart and put this back in now that i know how to do it it won't be that hard hence the video for you all so you know hey you can do this it's really not that hard to do i don't know let me know because i'm at a loss i'm thinking this might be the way to go because even if i have this on there part way it and maybe like a piece of tape or something you know duct tape maybe around this i mean then it's not getting any air for the fan so that wouldn't be cooling anything for the led so i don't know i don't know before i get this all back together i forgot to show you there's this 10 mil that is back into there okay so you need an extension and kind of a typical pain in the butt but it's in there and you'll lose something of course and i'm almost back together you got the oddball size here that's an eight mil you got your 10 mils coming all the way around there you got your oddball seven mil one for the plastic trim and that's all i have left i already did those 10 mil 10 mil going down there we're good to go put this piece back on and i will have an led driving lamp i think it will be fine like i said because that hole is way up up here yeah, obviously I go down dusty roads, but I think it'd be okay because these are still sealed. Might get dust in that second layer, but I don't think that's a big deal. I don't think we're going to get water back into there. You know, I don't live in a really wet state. So I'm chancing it. That's what I'm going for. Let me know if I'm wrong. And uh, yeah, hopefully this video helps you out. And I'll bring you the end when we have both lights in and show you what that looks like during the daytime another thing i thought to bring you is you might want to take your panel and push push in a tab here it's hard to see i know and there's slots and lift it up and there's actually two if they're both hung up and it's just in the middle of that you just need to push that in to get this off because they go through the slots there a piece that's all you have to do well here's the front of my vehicle there's the running lights on as you can see i have an aftermarket bumper and an aftermarket with the three lights and apparently we have sirens coming after me in the background now it sounds like fire truck but that's the ld led light i am just going to leave these off so like i said you can let me know if i'm doing it wrong if that's somehow gonna leak or whatever but i think it'll be fine and then i'll bring you a video later on i have to wait till nighttime and we'll see what it looks like at night so i got it all together so what i like to do is i like to take the little balls because there's nothing wrong with them put them in the box put it all together and i'll just toss it in the truck somewhere and then that way if i have an issue yeah it's not as easy to change on the side of the road like other bulbs but at least i have them with me and i have an idea i'll just reference my own video that i need a seven millimeter socket i need an extension i need a 10 mil for this extension mainly and something to pry up on like this and pry up on some of the tabs and there i go you know i can get that all out and change it if i need to on a road trip right and i have the bulbs there's nothing wrong with them so that's a little trick i like to do hopefully this video helped you out i'll bring you the night stuff magic of editing now so it's not fully dark out but this gives you an idea they're pretty white they're pretty bright and you can kind of look into my garage yes it's a mess but yeah it's it's pretty dang bright so, I don't know. I'll have to bring an update video after I use it for a bit. 
see how they are, see if they last a while. You know, that's the main thing, right? Because if they don't last, then oh no. As you saw, it was pretty hard to change them. So I don't want to just be messing around changing these on the side of the road or in a parking lot, you know, but it can be done. It just needs certain tools, which I would have to go into a Walmart or something if I'm on a trip. But hopefully not. Hopefully they do last. They do seem pretty bright. And we'll see how it goes because maybe I'll feed back on if people flash at me all the time, etc. So there we have it. That's how you install these LED bulbs into a Ford F-150 XL. Because it doesn't come with LEDs, it has a H11 bulb for the driving light. Have a good one. Stay well. Stay safe, my friends. Bye.